guys, I am live now. We are out for fishing and we haven't caught nothing yet, so it's gonna be. You got one? This ball. <laughs> but it is nice. You see, there's people catching fish there. Maybe we should try there, darling. Yeah, true there. Otherwise, they would not be standing there. We can try. I'm going to strip the camera so you guys can see, okay? Welcome, guys. My name is SD. You're watching SD in Sweden. We can try here. Yeah, we can try here and see. Maybe we get something here. That's um, people are just um, out in the water. You can see there are people on the rocks there. You never know. Maybe you can find something. So LG is going to just see. We we trying to catch some perch with these floats here. So with these worms. So usually it's quite quite often we can get fish here, but we'll see. Huh? Oh, huh. Okay. <laughs> I have to put down. Okay. Oh, my feet is trapped. My feet is trapped. Maybe I'll fall inside water. You think so? LG, I'm gonna fall in the water. I'm trying to just put this one. So that it go, huh? You got a fish? Oh, I got. Huh? Let go. You let go? Oh, that's a pity. So we got on to see if we can get some fish here. And it seems like maybe we should try here, since LG already got one fish. <laughs> Not just three minutes. Hi, everybody. So, it's a really lovely day today and um, we are fishing this with the uh, mud in there. This is what we call. So, this is what we use. And it's really beautiful now. It's like a magic and you know, it can be bright like for how long now? Aji, for how long are we going to be having this day like? 12? Yeah. Okay. It gets dark, but not, not dark. And I noticed the darker it becomes, we the chances of getting fish is higher. Huh? Oh yeah, there's a something in the water. Can you guys see? Maybe I was just gonna get one fish. A small fish? I thought I'd bring you guys for this trip so that you can... Oh, there's another one. <laughs> this is a fish and uh, it's, uh, it's magic. It's like this really special light that fill up. Oh, yeah. You get nap all the time here, yeah. And those guys over there, they are fishing too. And this is ocean, uh, it's the sea, and the water is coming up from there. Oh, somebody is having a, a good time. <laughs> so this is what we do in the evening, is either we sauna or we go fishing. So today I have a choice. I usually like to take a nap um, when it is like this. Such a beautiful day. So you can see from the back of my, it's like a, oh, now the water is getting more, more and more wavy because there, is a, there was a boat just now. So I'm going to try and fish now. And let's see if we can get anything, okay? 
I'm trying to see my see my ch chances of getting if I can find anything. Maybe it is like maybe I should try my luck too. Maybe I should make it deeper. Sometimes <coughs> fishing is about luck and I think the weather too and this kind of fish really depending on the weather. So I'm going to change my worms. I think my worms have no more taste. You know and, and the thing is with this kind of fish they like the flavors of the worm. If there is no more flavors so they will just ignore you <laughs> and won't come and bite so you know guys i am uh, not a professional fisherman but i know that i somehow find out about this uh, the feel of it to really big thick womb can you see so disgusting right but uh, that's how the fish like it especially this kind of perch they like this kind of earthworm for a bottle of earthworm uh, how much it was like 50 krona and then you have about 50 worms in one bottle yeah. so i like to just put the worm like around the hook here and then i will break the center you see until i get it around it sorry okay vegetarian people i have to do this because we're trying to get them fish here and then i will break this part and then i will just put this back again oh did you see that the water huh they couldn't see it. Okay, i have to wash my hand otherwise you know, it become very stinko the hand So this is how I hook my fish. So now I'm going to try and see if I can get anything. I'm going to try this. Maybe I'm going to try this. Out. See. I'm just going to turn the camera. Wash hand. Oh, I got enough. Immediately. Okay. Let's see if I can flip the camera. See? So, you see these uh, balls are moving? So they have... Uh, you never know. And this is uh, a Swedish summer house. Usually, uh, this year, especially uh, from the pandemic, people are most likely staying at home. So, it's um, a lot of time at home. And people will take the opportunity to renovate the summer house, right, LG? LG, we did something. So, I'm going to just move my this thing here a bit so that you guys can see oh you see something is eating and he will not bite onto the hook <laughs> he's just teasing me just worm eating huh worm eating yeah he's just teasing me you see The sun is going to set soon. What time is it now? It's uh, about 10. It's about 10 and it's uh, 10 o'clock in Sweden. It's... Uh, I mean it's past. Hmm. We tried for uh, one over hours now. We moved from places to places. We couldn't find. Oh, seems like 
Something is biting on my Elchi <laughs> move place. <clears throat> so this year from the pandemic seems like the local people will spend more time within the country and doing things the local thing which is actually quite good for the local business because you know instead of people spending money abroad they spend money here locally and which is really really good this means there is a good chance for local business to grow so i'm going to move mine here Maybe survive yeah survive the business is really really bad uh, especially a restaurant business hotel business those tourist business is really bad but i think if the people a uh, local business like hotel they are creative enough to uh, what do you call that attract local visitor i think that there is still a chance there don't you think fg so So really, it's, it's, it's a way, you have to change your way of looking at the, the new norm, uh, different eyes. And huh? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Mm -hmm. No, no, I got something here. See, I got a bike here. So, what is the interest of this local people? And I think Swedish people, they mostly like to just take it easy. They don't want to spend a holiday in stressful situation um right now we have the space we have the the nature where people spend more time the government try to encourage people to uh what do you call that to Remaster. huh we call that hamaster means home holiday <laughs> see there's one fish there trying to bite You you guys think I will get any fish? I think so. It's at least better than outside. We went out to the sea over there just now, and we got nothing. And the minute we put our hook down, you get this bite. But the chances that these are not so big fish; they are smaller fish. Oh, yes. mm. So we <coughs> some of the small fish we keep for swante. So what we do is that we will not clean it now, we just put it in the refrigerator, cover it properly and then maybe, you know, if possible, if we have the time, maybe we will just to do it, cook it right away. And then Swante, he's, um, when he eats this fish, he only eat for one or two days and after that when he get tired of the fish he just don't want to eat it anymore so it's a really picky guy a picky boy right fg yes he's a picky boy not a boy he's an old man <laughs> he's an old cat so siri doesn't like that but uh well, you see if we can get anything. Otherwise, I'm going to just post this on uh, my story. Oh, look, look, look. Did you see? Something is moving there. Something moving there. You see? Uh, why don't you just get, get hook on to mine? Come, take, take mine. Take it.
So it's just one we have, huh? I'm going to see if I can get this hook onto my hook, okay? Sometimes you have to take the fish and like shake it, you know, like tease them. Uh, and then, <laughs> I don't know, that's my trick. Uh, and then you want to, you, if you find that, you know, you put in the hook for 20 seconds and nothing happens. So what I do is I like to do like this three times, my normal dance, we, I call that. And then, you know, maybe the fish will notice and then maybe they will be curious and then they'll come closer. And then they, hopefully they bite onto that. And it's really important the way how you hook your worms. So it's really a tricky thing. You sometimes you, you more or less you have to like psychologically lure the fish uh, so that you know they are look. You see, the minute I change my position, they will bite harder because they know that. Oh, you see now, now. Now, did you see that? So once I change my position a little bit, then he will be more interested to give the worms a bigger bite. And then the fishing is very good way to test your patience. Or rather, build your patience. Look at the sky behind LG there. So pink now. So I have to check. You have to check the worms. Because sometimes if the worms is not there anymore, so you're just wasting your time, right? <clears throat> so if the worm is still there, put it back. And then try to tease the fish a little bit. Say, hey, it's here now. So they come, hopefully. Now you see? You see? Bite. I suspect these are not big fish. These are smaller fish. Very small fish. Very small fish. LG caught one which is about maybe 5 centimeters. Yeah, the surrounding, the sky behind there is so beautiful. <clears throat> the one thing really nice about evening here is the sky. It's so breathtaking. I've taken some pictures and I posted on my Facebook and sometimes if possible my YouTube on my stories. So I try to be more active in posting story but sometimes you know I just don't know lacking of uh, discipline to post it more regularly so if the situation that you see that the fish is like just biting and losing interest biting then you have to change your position you see it's still there but these are the small fish I think I missed one just now. I'm going to just lure him a bit. <laughs> Hopefully he will follow and then he become angry and say, Where are the heck are you going? Yeah. And then you see now he's biting angrily. So now he's going to just I would just let it bite and then when they the it get onto the hook then this ball thing will sink down and that is where you know there is a chance that you can get this fish but if they are just like <clears throat> biting on the worms then you have to check them quite often you see the minute I switch the position it will just come back and bite So now I, you see, I switch the position a little bit more. Okay, make him more angry. <laughs> I don't 
see if he bark again. Sometimes it's the direction of the temperature under underneath water, whether the fish come or not, you know. They especially midnight, uh, they usually come a certain time when you know there was one time me and LG we were fishing and we didn't even have time to put the worms, you know. We, the minute we put the the hook back, you know, there's another fish. Put that see now can't bite it and go. Don't just take my worm. You have to give me something too. <laughs> I spent 50 crown, you know, <laughs> to feed you guys. I know something is there. It's just so difficult for them to hook on to that. There, you see? It is like interested. See, he's still biting, but the hook is not, he's not hooked onto it. So, don't be afraid, all right? It's the, it like life like that. If you want to get something in your life, sometimes you have to pay a price. And don't be too desperate. If you're too desperate, you know, the thing, you will scare them away. So sometimes you have to be diplomatic. And then if you think that, oh, this is just a small fish, then don't waste your time. If it's a big fish, then you stay there. <laughs> right, LG? Mm. If it's a big fish, then you it's worth your time. If it's just a small fish, ah, just throw with the worms and... You know, move on, replace another one, and hopefully the the fish will come, the bigger fish will come. So I don't know, I think I have to hook the fish, the new worms, because after 5-10 minutes, if the fish is not getting, if getting your hook, then, you know, the chances for you to... Um, catch that fish is very very little because they they lose interest because when the worms is too long in the water it lose flavors just like you're right human being if the thing doesn't smell good you don't want to eat that right so you want to eat something that is good right so life is like that right that attracts you that you want this but you know Let's see if the fish, the hook is still there. You see the hook is, the worms is still there. Is it still alive? It is still alive. I'm just going to just put my something. I'm going to show you something. Here. <clears throat> so if the hook, yeah, if the worms is like that, so you hook through that worms, right, all the way in. And then, uh, the trick is that you have to check your worms all the time and make sure that the opening here has the taste of the this fish. If there's no more taste at the end there, what I do is I take a scissors and then I just snap it, throw it away, and then maybe I get a fresh worm. But this worm seems like it's quite okay. So I'm going to push this worm, the end, the opening there, to the hook there, so that, you know, they will bite. Because that is where they uh, bite, because of the taste coming out from the worms. So you have to make sure that the opening is at the worms there. And then I'm going to just try, because this is just a half worms, yeah. There's a lesser chance to get this fish but let's see <clears throat> I still see try try the other one. see if it still come back see huh yes sir he said it's dead on the other this side on this side of the water so now I'm trying on this side and see. 
Do you want me to go to here maybe? Let me try here and see if it's any fish there. In Sweden, uh, if you fish in the sea, uh, you see there's something biting. If you fish in the sea, you don't have to get a license. But if you fish in certain lakes where there are salmon or there are conservation, planted. yeah, planted one, then you have to get a license because uh, you know, these are planted fish and the government invested in them. So the fishing cut is cost around 100 kroner. Fish kakut. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's about 100 kroner. It depends. Mm. Yeah, it depends. Some places maybe about 150 kroner. But then you get the whole lake by yourself. Oh, you know, very big area. Uh, what I heard from Japan is like they fish in the pond, eh? <laughs> like a swimming pool, 20 by 20 meter long. And then they pay quite a lot of money to just fish in that pond. So here you get the whole sea by yourself. It's for free. The only investment is the fishing rod and the worms. So if you get, if you're lucky, you can get quite a lot of fish. So. Huh? No, as you miss the fish. Is it a big one or small? It's a small one, yeah. Sometimes it's not a matter whether you get the fish or not. Sometimes it's like you really put your time in just finding idea to relax you see LG is lying down <laughs> trying to be more relax LG are you relaxed no no I'm in pain what pain motor is hurting my back oh then you don't lie again the motor I'm going to see if I can change the worms okay oh, it's dead. is it now yeah, I can feel that too, it's dead. Usually when you put it in, uh, immediately, if they bike, then it's uh, a good chance that you might get. If they just don't bike and you don't get anything, like within 15, 20 minutes, you know, you know it's time for you to pack your anchor and go somewhere else or go home and sleep. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, hangout with me. I, um, I'm going to just flip the camera and say goodbye to you guys. And um, let me know what kind of fishing environment you have in your country. Is What kind of fish you got? Is it easy? You know, uh, like our place here today is like quite big here. So I'm going to just try and enjoy this time hey you got a nap yeah. and then if we get something would be good if it's nothing it's fine to just enjoy this moment standing in the sea and just relax all right see you guys bye 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 bye